forty minutes. All right, so after right. the gumbo, we haven't even been having even intro. Y'all intro this one, I guess, because we didn't intro the last one. Oh, I thought you was gonna run them all concurrent. So yeah, my bad then. Yeah, you know it's we got one, two, three. We don't need no intro. We intro. Gumbo. All right, this is gumbo part three. We've been talking for about an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, this gumbo show ever. So yeah, uh, we were talking about the little boosie sneeze. Uh, sneeze didn't really get his talk in, but uh, me and D did a little. We did a little talking. So jump us off, sneeze. Boy. How you feel? I mean, it's just listen. I totally agree with y'all. They're thirteen and a little young. If if we talking about a seventeen year old, I probably wouldn't have no problem with it. Y'all know that I feel about prostitution totally different than y'all, but the. 13 is a little young. 13, 13. 13, it feel like you're making a decision for your son instead of letting your son make a decision. That's all I can say. Yeah. Right. Now, I, as far as... Now, now, listen. I don't go as far as y'all as the... I don't use words like... Just, just those... Bro, to me, words like traumatic... And shit like that. That's just not in my vocabulary. So, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was, afraid, I was, yeah, traumatized. Like, if we want to talk about traumatized, I could have been traumatized by my father on many occasions. But that just wasn't, that just wasn't in my family's vocabulary. Like, traumatized. Like, fuck wrong with you, you simp-ass, fragile-ass bitch. That's the type of shit. Jeez. If I had came to my father... At any point in my childhood, and say, "Dad, I'm traumatized." He, it, it he, that's the type of shit he would have said. You fragile ass bitch. He probably, you know what I'm saying? It, some shit. Like, fuck is wrong with you? You traumatized, bitch. I saw you traumatized, motherfucker. Listen, listen to Navy. You know what I'm saying? It, it been some shit like that. But so for me, on that, on that tip, is I feel a little differently. I mean. It's it's never been a time where I take that back. It's been it's been one or two times where I got my dick sucked, where the bitch didn't know what she was doing, and and the yeah. bitch used teeth instead of fucking lips. That it was it was it's traumatizing. It was it, it, it was traumatizing. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you get over it. But it ain't it ain't been too many dick sucks in my life that done uh. Uh, flabbergasted me or done set me on a course to where I can't fucking uh, comprehend life. So with that being said, I kind of, I kind of fall off the Richter scale, but, but 13 is <clears> a little <throat> young. 13 is a little young to be doing any sexual activity. Well, let, well, well, let me ask you this. Do you, 13 is a little young to be doing any sexual I didn't lose my virginity till I was, 17, 16, 17, and I felt like that was a little late. I knew people that was around me that lost their virginity much younger, maybe 15, maybe 14, maybe 13. But looking back at oh, I knew. I knew in the fifth grade, it was a couple that got knocked down and oh, pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Looking back at life, it, 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 you, get, you, get, you, you take what you get. But at the same time, back, looking back at life, I think I lost my virginity right at the right, at the right time. But good time. I lost it a couple years earlier, which I had the opportunity to do. I just didn't do it. If I had, you know what I'm saying? I like, but until I was 15, 16, I would save myself from marriage. Because you know what I'm saying? And square right. business. I thought that motherfucker me in my head, I was like, I'm not having sex till I get married. It was girls that want to have sex with me, but I didn't know what I was doing, first off. And second off, you know what I'm saying? I so first off, I didn't know what in a way. I so I kind of used, I'm saving myself for marriage as a crutch, but you know what I'm saying? But if you, I mean, I, I would okay. assume so, that Lil Boosie, Lil Boosie's sons have seen some action, but regardless of the fact, 13 is a little young to be doing anything that your father offers you. You know what I'm saying? Like my, my father, now my father probably offered me a beer or something like that at 13. You know what I'm saying? We had the state fair so, here. To take a sip of this shine of box. Say you did it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? He probably did that, but you know, my my father, my father, my father's been a wingman for me once or twice, but not at 13. No. That well, was let me late. ask you this. 
do you view do you see it I, okay i'm gonna ask y'all how y'all how y'all feel about this like how you view it personally okay well i ain't gonna tell you what do you look at this as a form of child abuse um you, know, okay, you can't well, tell what? until you can't tell until he's old enough to comprehend you can't what Wait up, wait I up, mean, D. What did you say, D? D, what did you say? Do we view this as a what? A form of child abuse. Um, I, yeah. Um, See, now, nowadays, I do. nowadays, I'm going to put it to you like this. If Adrian Peterson uh, hitting his child with a switch is uh, child abuse, then damn right this is child abuse. Child abuse is switched from our childhood. Now, when we was younger, would this be child abuse? Maybe, maybe not. But nowadays, it will be. certainly. Now, in today's time, certainly this is child abuse. 100%. Um, okay. I only say that because... So, 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 what about, what about, other than the oath, because teachers have to take an oath, other than the oath, what about teachers who, um, have parties at their house, and then... Dude, let, stop right there. Let, stop right there. Let, stop right there. Stop right there. Why is a teacher... Listen, I went to some hood-ass schools. Don't stop worry right about... There. Don't even worry Why about... We got having a party at her house and inviting her... She's 25. From her she's 25. Because she's 25. So the teacher is... I don't give a Have parties at her house and then let the... Let the and let her, her male students who are... Um, 16, 17, and 18 run a train on them. That's listen, it's listen to me. <laughs> Look at Gary Face. Look at Gary Face. <laughs> to me, to me, listen. <laughs> to me, listen, you stop being a child at 17, <laughs> 18. So in the state of Texas. So it's one thing that's iffy on the law. But to me, that shit is uh that's a I put to you like this. That ain't uh that ain't child abuse, that's child endangerment. That's the difference. That's child endangerment. Because what motherfucking me, 16, 17-year-old, 18, uh, senior, junior in high school, if they part, if they teach, if they Spanish teacher, if they English teacher, if they uh, history teacher uh -huh. is 27 and finding a motherfucker, and the motherfucker say, I'm having think, a party. I think about I'm, I'm having a party in my house Friday. Uh, who the fuck ain't gonna show up? Everybody's gonna show up. So you but, endangering the child because at the end of the day, it's the same thing that little Boosie is doing. You're not giving your child the child a choice because you're taking the choice away. Because what what kid ain't gonna go to that party, and what 13 year old ain't gonna get a dick suck if his daddy provided it for him? That's the listen. The, that's the only reason why I say Boosie is in the wrong because you took away the choice of the child. Because if my daddy told me anything at 13, I'm doing it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if my daddy said go across the street and kill the next door neighbor. I'm doing it because my daddy no. told me to. Even when I was 13, I, was, no, I wasn't going to do that at 13. I'm doing that shit. My daddy told me to do that shit. You got a point. You got a point, Sneeze. You got a point. I wasn't doing one. that at 13. Um, Bro, you a goddamn lie, Gabe. I, was I wasn't doing scary it. Ass dad. You're doing anything your fucking pop tell you. Your pops is 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 built like motherfucking Lucifer himself. Fuck Jesus wrong with Christ, you. what the hell? That All is, right. That's a scary guy. I don't know. He's not that scary. Uh, right, at 13? No, I don't know what you I don't know what's going on in your head about my dad. Do you have you seen my dad? I know he looks away, but he's, he's um scary though, from what I hear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shit. So <laughs> so yeah, my whole thing about the uh, my whole thing about it is uh, I guess it is abuse. Yeah, it's abuse. But I'm saying that maybe later in his life it it affects him in a certain way. I mean, I don't think this could affect him positively anyway. There's no positive in what he did. Yeah, I mean, bro, 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 bro. Can we get off this simp ass culture of motherfucking me? This this motherfucking me. Everybody's got a problem. Everybody's got motherfucking me. Uh. The, uh, uh, what's the shit? Depression and woo -woo. like, bro. The only way you let shit affect you is if you let shit affect you, motherfucker. If you want to get off something, you know how you. Ad, 
follow me on this. If you want to okay. get over something, you know how you get over it? You get how the you get fuck over. over it. Fuck is you talking about? It, it's not no fucking rocket science. It's not I, no fucking not. goddamn, I need, I need, I need Dr. Phil and, and Dr. Oz and, and uh, whatever the other doctor and is. Dr. Dr. Pepper with the code. Problems. You know how you get through <laughs> problems? You get the fuck over this shit, bro. But you know you what's next? You. you. I had a you. bad day yesterday. You know what today isn't gonna be? A bad day. Why? Cause I'm not gonna let it be. Period. So Period. if your mother died, you if your whole if your whole family, family died, family today, you just I'm gonna get over it. People come down with illness in my family today. I'm not going to let it ruin my fucking day. Period. But okay, let's say this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask this. Let me ask this question. Let me ask you this question. Calm down. <laughs> Breathe, nigga. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let me ask you this question say your mama died your grandma died your brother died your cousin died everybody you like died and then all of a sudden you go to the store there's no more corona what are you gonna do get over it there's more what there's no corona no corona you you know what i'm gonna do and no newports and oh shit shit you tripping now <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i'm gonna do you know what I'm gonna do, really, bro? Really? Like this? This ain't. I know y'all want me to say some funny response, but I'm being real with the fucking people right now. You know what okay. I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna buy do? some fucking Bud Light and a pack of Cools. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do. Because why? Because I can't. Fu- Listen, if one thing, it's it. They say it's they say it's two things in life that are guaranteed: death Dang and taxes. That's it. That's all you get, bro. But another thing that's guaranteed is yesterday ain't got to be today. Whatever the fuck happened yesterday don't have to be today. The only way yesterday can be today is if you allow it to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean but, to get on motherfucking me a motivational speaker till. No, no, no. To. Be philosophical. Be philosophical right quick. Because at the end of the fucking day, bro, I feel like a lot of people uh, to nowadays, bro, it's, it's cool to be depressed. It's cool to be motherfucking uh, uh, vulnerable. It's co- I-, I ain't got no problem with vulnerability, but it's cool to be motherfucking me fucking uh, just fucking batshit crazy. It's cool to be them things. To me, that's just not cool, bro. Depression is a thing. You don't think I be depressed sometimes? You don't think I, 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 some days I wake up and I don't feel like being fucking here? You know what I'm saying? You know how I many drugs them being in my fucking system? How many girls done left me? Motherfucking how much shit done happened in my motherfucking life? How many partners done laid in the fucking ground? You don't think I can I can wake up every day and just feel like not fucking going on? You know what I'm saying? How many times I done been in a drug fucking induced a coma and really felt like I'd rather feel like I'd rather just die right now than be alive because this fucking come down so fucking bad? What the fuck? You don't think I done went through hard times? But the only way that shit affects your life is if you let it. I don't need no drugs. I don't need no motherfucking uh no uh Xanax or no motherfucking me Adderalls or no whatever. I don't, bro. Your mind is your mind. That's what people don't understand. Your mind is yours. Whatever you put in your mind is how your mind thinks. If you you can really that's really a hundred percent. Fuck with your mind. If if I have a broken leg, it did article one time that a motherfucker had a broken and he was uh he was hiking or some, some shit. He had a fucking leg that shit was bleeding uncontrollably. The only way that he fucking survived was he told his fucking mind, I don't have a broken leg. He convinced himself, I don't have a broken leg. Even though this motherfucker his bone is popping out. He's losing mm-hmm. blood. This motherfucker should be dead. He convinced himself, I don't have a broken leg. I'm not losing blood right now. I'm fine. And he was there for like two, three days. Should have bled out, should have died and all that shit. But when they came and got him, they said, shit, you got blood like like yo, like you don't have a broken leg, like you're not losing any blood. Why? Because he convinced his brain that had that he did, that he didn't have a broken leg. So that convinced his heart that he that it should keep pumping blood. So that convinced his lungs to keep keep oxygen in there. 
your mind is a tool, bro. If you use it like you fucking depressed and like you fucking down and like you fucking can't go on with life, guess what? Your life will exhibit that. But if you motherfucking me use your brain like I'm the best thing in the fucking world, even when you a piece of shit, guarantee that piece of shit will turn out to the best thing in the fucking world. Period. All right. That's well, what I'm the problem with people saying, oh, I'm depressed. I can't make it. I can't. Motherfucker, if you got better than me and you complaining, kill yourself. Fucking kill yourself because you wasting my fucking oxygen. Okay. All right, yeah, moving on, on, Sneeze. Um, I know one thing. You might not have been you not may not have been sitting on the couch in front of no shrink, but you got that shit out today. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Definitely that's what that. I be saying. You got your own shrink. You got to be your own shrink. If you can't talk to yourself and resolve your problems, what the fuck you going to go and pay somebody else to resolve your problems for? Fuck is you I'll talking? This is your third beer though, by the way. Um No, no, no. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. This is my fourth. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I mean, on video. Yeah, this is my fourth. Oh, really? Okay, damn, you quick. You just I just been... opened another one, bitch. My bad. I haven't been keeping hey, up. I'm hey, not. Hey, but don't, don't you dare, motherfucking, take my wisdom for drunkenness. Don't you dare, motherfucking me. I ain't saying you drunk. I think it takes a little like, bit more than like, that to oh, get you. Had three beers, so everything he said is invalid because he must be drunk. No, no, no. You sounded very oh, cohesive oh, and. Why? Corona not is just a not cohesive, but um. So Earl Thomas, the Great American Tale. We'll be with the Cowboys this season. Let's talk about the story. Um, he get in an argument with his wife. Uh, Earl he, Thomas. Earl Thomas. He gets in an argument with his wife. He leaves the house. His girl checks on his Snapchat, finds out where he is. She sees a picture with him and a woman. She pulls up with a gun that with his gun, takes the clip out, doesn't know there's a car, uh, a bullet in there still, takes the safety off and everything. She goes in there with her with the homies, with the homegirls, with and the homegirls got knives. They swinging at bitches. They ready to kill. He's over there with his little brother, and um, it's just a great American tale. How do y'all feel about it? Did she kill somebody? Nah, she ain't kill nobody. But did she shoot? Did she what? Did she shoot? No, nah, she didn't uh, she, shoot. So she went over there and scared them. Yeah. I ain't got no with problem that. with it. I'm with that. She beat his ass, no though. Crazy bitch from time to time. She hit him with the gun. She pistol whipped him. I'm with that. You think you can do that to a woman? Go run up on her and pistol whip her? Definitely. definitely. <laughs> oh, Wait up, he pistol whipped her? No, she pistol whipped him. But I'm with nah, that. I, I, it be, it, 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 it shit, shit going on for me to piss a whip a woman. Piss a whip to me is a, is, a, is a great sign of disrespect. That yeah. Be, to me, piss a whip is worse than slapping a motherfucker. If I they piss a whip you... It's about the same. You gonna put your, you put your hands on them either way it go. Yeah, but piss a whip can I'm really pistol knock you the fuck out. I, I almost rolled her. That's all right. That's all right. I bet. I bet the next time he had that shit together. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he. I think he was trying to. I think he's straight with her. I think he had to get a. Um, they got a. Uh, hey, Sato, Sato, Sato. Can we pause? Go he pause everything, cause, cause, cause. I swear to God, this dude. I'm gonna tell you. And Gabe, it's your fault. Wait up. Gabe, it's your fault. He told me that if he don't get invited to the motherfucking me podcast Zoom meetings, that he's going to start a fucking fake <laughs> Instagram account and go on Instagram page and blast all of us. So I did this for us. You get what I'm saying? I did this for us. I feel it. Right. Take the brand. Motherfucker on our Instagram account. Well, Husky, say what's happening to Hey, man, Husky, your beard is looking ridiculously fly right now. Hey, hey, your boy. <laughs> oh, got a mask on. They got a mask on. I hey. did. I thought that was your beard too. Okay. Ah, well, I can't see. Damn it! I got a pin. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Let me hey, pin you your shit. Different color shoe strings. We got the black and red shoe strings. Go back to it. Go. Let me see the shoes. Let me see the shoes. Ooh, the RBG. Y'all, y'all need to start adding me to these Zoom meetings. 
Well, we all got your number. You just really sneeze could just send you the the password and all that, and you join. Hey, bro, yeah. hey, bro I'm about to send you my number to the uh, after school pro- program in the DM. All right, I got you. Yeah, Wait, yeah. put the put the put it back on the shoes. I didn't even see his shoes because it was it wasn't on his shit. Okay, flavor. That brother that brother I think I saw you. I think I saw you. Did you post these or you post the blue ones on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He posted them on Instagram. The blue ones too. Yeah, the blue ones. I saw the blue ones. The you know most, that boy? Hey, look, bro. You know that boy? Staff. DT Are y'all bro. back up? Are they back up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He back working. Go, uh, go fuck with him. Detail law. Detail I'm law. looking at some Nikes right now, nigga. I'm looking at some Nikes right now that I look crazy. Let me tell you. Hey, Have you seen? All our Nike shirts two for fifty. All our Nike shirts two for forty. All our Puma shirts twenty dollars. Our Tommy Hilfiger shirts two yes. two for twenty. And damn near all our shoes on 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 sale. I bought some Pumas today for fifty five dollars. Have you heard of the Nike Zoom two uh, K? I'm looking at these on Nike.com right now. These hoes look. Let me see. You see that? Yeah. Uh, okay. Got the red, black, and white ones. You got the red, black. I think I seen that. Yeah, you can see, they ain't even selling those no more. They just showing them at the bottom. These hoes will get them hoes icy. I might, I might grab some. Y'all don't got them over there, do y'all? Y'all got them at HSO? No. I, nah, he ain't got them. I bought mine from. Hey, Nike, 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 I store off of Collins. The store on Collins got them. The store on Collins got them. Okay. All right. Let me see if they got these because I'm Jose. If they don't got them, I gotta get them. Uh so let's get back to the conversation. But for real, we're gonna put we're gonna put them in. Y'all gotta he gotta be part of the gumbo. I don't I don't we can do these all day. Uh so Earl Thomas, how you feel about that? Your girl come in, pistol whip you with the gun of yours, you fucking with your twin brother, of course. Y'all banging out a couple girls in the hotel room. Um, I deserved it, but I'm still gonna fight that bitch though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, I deserve, I deserve that one. You know, sometimes you really do shit to, you know, what I'm saying to cause that, and I caused that, so I can't say that I ain't, I ain't the reason why she only did that because of what I did. But I'm still gonna fight. Her. I'm still gonna fight her. I don't care we if, if we if we break up or stay together, bitch. I owe your ass whooping for that one. You gonna come over and embarrass me in front of these bitches? I can't let these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you come and embarrass me in front of these people. That was my side bitch and her side in yeah. her side home yeah. home girl. Exactly. I can't never fuck them again. You know what I'm saying? I can't even talk shit to them now. <laughs> you know? Don't let me get Keisha on your bitch ass. <laughs> exactly. Man, yeah. you been playing uh you been playing call uh call uh dude. This nigga lag this nigga lagging. D can you see him? Can you hear him? Yeah, I, I said him. you been okay. playing call uh call a, uh dude. Uh I yeah, I've been playing. Warzone? I've been playing Warzone. Yeah. Add me Death the Kid. What is it? Death the Kid. Death the kid, like yeah. death, like death or death. Death. D H A L. T H. Okay, T H. Yeah, put me in there. I'm out there. You know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really been playing in the last couple of days, but you know, I'll join if y'all. If you playing um on the PS4, just uh, we'll text about that shit. So yeah, man. Um, I don't think I got anything else, man. We can end it right there. I mean. Y'all can enjoy part one, part two, part three, yeah, unless y'all good. got anything else. Nah, that's good. No, what do you say? No, I don't. What do you say? I said, nah, that's good. I'm going to fuck with y'all later. All right, y'all. Absolute, uh, gumbo show. Uh, the gumbo show. Y'all be up. Outro. Please, D. Gave. We is peacing out. Audi out. Uh, yeah.